It has been a very long day. And so, I now have to make a video, and so, since I am very tired, I am going to make that video about said long day, but first let's take out this ponytail because that's just there for water polo practice, and yes, I did just get back home from water polo practice because that's how crazy my Wednesdays are. So let's dive into that. <laughs> Wednesdays, seven o'clock wake up call just like every other day. Alarm goes off, I wake up and I groan and I'm sad because I know that it is a Wednesday. Meaning I don't get to just ignore that alarm. I don't get to just sleep another 30 minutes to an hour to two hours. I have to actually obey that alarm, get off of my bed, and go to work. And by that I mean doing my lab reports. You see, currently I have this horrible pattern of doing my lab reports at the last minute. And since my labs are on Wednesdays, Wednesday mornings from about 7 to 9.45 when I have to leave for my 10 a.m. class is kind of my last ditch time period to kind of finalize all the lab report stuff that I did the night before. So it's a 7 o'clock wake up call to working on all my lab stuff, finishing up any other homework including Latin which I frequently forget has daily homework, and then desperately try to gather up all my stuff and get to class on time. At the very beginning of the year, I would always get to my Latin class about 15 minutes early. I would be one of those good students who would actually sit in the hall because I had so much time to spare until that class started. Nowadays, I come in with at maximum five minutes before class starts. And since on the very first day I chose to be in the middle of one of the front rows, I now always have to go by this guy, who's a very nice guy by the way, and he always has to get up, get his laptop, his books, move his little um, scooter to the side, and he does all of this in about two seconds. He's just like up, up, up. And he has to always do all of this, get up, and allow me to go through. And it is very kind of him to go through all of this because honestly I could just get there earlier, but procrastination says otherwise. So as you might have gathered, I start my day with my anime class. And I will admit for a very long day that Wednesdays are, at least I'm starting it on a good note. You see, anime class is a fun class, as you can probably guess, and so hearing that teacher go ahead and ramble on about yokai and Pokemon and Godzilla is usually a pretty good way to get my mood back to where it needs to be after having worked for like two hours and 45 minutes on various projects that admittedly I should have done before that point. But alas, that class eventually ends. The bell rings, or actually we're in college so there are no bells. The teacher says that the bell rings and then we have to get up and move on with our lives. For me, that means going to Latin. Now, Latin is a decently okay class. I wouldn't say it's difficult. I would say it's a lot of work and a lot of effort. And so I always have to go in there and I have to take both the former Latin knowledge that I have and a willingness to throw out the former Latin knowledge that I had into the classroom with me. And some days it's a challenge, other days it's easy. It's kind of a iffy thing, but I can tell you that if Latin is a hard day like it was today with a lot of stuff that I'm a little ambiguous on and not the best at, it definitely detracts from that overall mood. Fortunately, after Latin, I have my biggest break of the day, a full two hours to do whatever I want. 
except for the fact that I procrastinated too much on that lab report. So this meant walking back to my dorm, which mind you is 15 minutes away from main campus. I'm not sure why I walk here. But the reason why I walked here was because we have the best food court, and I mean the best food court. It has steak and stuff for dinner. Um, today it wasn't super good, but we did have blackened catfish, which was worth it, <laughs> and rotisserie chicken and all that stuff. So I come here, I grab food, I come up to my room, and I have to work even more on this lab report. I finally get it finished, print it out, and I'm able to take that and run to my English class, which starts at approximately 2 o'clock. And so while rushing there, I go ahead and check the site where, they up, where the teachers update their homework, and I notice that there's a paper that we were supposed to read, um, and not an easy paper either, um, something called Orientalism that you might have heard of. It's a little complex. And so here I am, desperately pulling up the PDF on my phone, trying to like skim through it, get a vague idea of what's going on, because this lab report that was 11 pages and over 2,000 words, by the way, just took up all of my time. And I get up there, get in my seat, and finish kind of going through it, get the gist of it, etc. My English class is an interesting experience. It's a class where I would normally feel very, like, able, like, very good at what I was doing. I'm not phrasing that well, which is apt for this situation. Usually I would be confident in what I would have to say. But you see, this English class has about three people that are extremely confident including one person who is so confident and so vital to our class discussions that when they are late, our teacher will literally not have class until they walk in that door or until five minutes pass. I mean, the fact that there is the five minutes passing gives them a little bit of leeway, but it's still a bit strange. So I go into that class and I'm able to actually say one idea eloquently which is more than usual, so I'm pretty proud of myself. But then I have to go from that English class to the worst class of the day. There is an hour break, mind you, but to the worst class of the day and of the week, arguably, the physics discussion. Now the physics discussion has this reputation for being absolutely horrible because they will give you these extremely long worksheets that are not possible to finish in 50 minutes and then they will grade these worksheets as if they were exams pretty much. You do get to work on these worksheets with groups as you may have seen in some of the group videos but it's still... <sighs> It's not a good time. So I go in there ready to just be completely stumped by this worksheet and they give it to us and they're like, okay, this is your worksheet and I look at it and it's just a front and a back. And this is completely unprecedented, you see. Like, we usually have full-on packets, like four to five pages front and back, side to side, whatever. But this one was just one page front to back. So I look at this and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. There's no way this is this easy. And I, I get with my group and we start talking about it and we're like, it really is this easy. And so we, we go and we talk and we go through it and we're out of this 50 minute discussion in 25 minutes because we get it done so fast. And you might think that this would have made my day that much better. You would think that. But here's the thing, getting out with 25 minutes left meant that I now had this 25 minute space. A 25 minute space that I hadn't expected before. A 25 minute space where I could have done things like finalized that lab report and used one of the print stations that are like right nearby my discussion section. So essentially this meant that I now had time that I could have used before, but I didn't know I would get. So instead, I was kind of lost on what to do with my time. 25 minutes in 
college is not exactly a lot of time. It was actually 35 minutes now that I think about it since the next class started at an even time and this class would have ended at 50. Anyways, 35 minutes is not a lot of time in college. What you can do in 35 minutes is uh, walk around, uh, maybe go to vending machines, uh, talk to friends. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a funny one. Um, you know, there's not much you can do in that time frame, and everyone else was hype. They were like, yes, we got out of the discussion early, but I'm just over here like, I don't get to go home, I'm just stuck here for 25 minutes in a little purgatory before my physics lab starts. And so I end up kind of wandering around, I go and I get a granola bar because that's what I can do at the time and I just kind of ponder a little bit and eventually it's time for my physics lab. And so I walk in there and my lab partner greets me and we're all cool and we go ahead and start. And of course this physics lab must be prefaced by an extremely long and overly complicated lecture by the TA who then at the end admits that half of it was just for our understanding and wasn't really necessary for us to know, it just kind of colored the experience to which we're all like, yeah, thanks for wasting our time. We really appreciate that, thanks. And so we go ahead and we go through this experiment. It's not seeming too bad. And then we get to the very end of it. And it turns out that this experiment is a time sink. In other words, one part of it involves setting up a timer and waiting until something happens or essentially until this voltmeter went from 9.6 to zero. And this might not sound like it would take too long, but the problem is the lower the numbers got, the longer it took. And this is not just an illusion based on impatience. This is a fact that was presented to us before we even started the experiment. So this is a very infuriating exper experiment to do because you end up sitting there and you spend like 30 seconds on the first one, but then you spend like five minutes on the second one and 10 minutes on the third one. And it's just like, yeah, this is what we're doing with our time right now. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Anyways, the lab wasn't too bad. If I'm being honest, most of the day was not that bad. It's just long. It's just this Wednesday schedule of going from anime to Latin to back to my dorm to do whatever I need to do and then back for English and a discussion and a lab and then the final element that can be the most exhausting, water polo. You see, I usually enjoy when my lab runs long because it means I get to miss the swimming portion of water polo. But today, the lab actually finished right in this nice zone where I will get to practice on time, which is unfortunate <laughs> because I do not like to swim. And so I then had to go ahead and walk over to water polo and jump in that pool and swim all these laps. And when I say I hate swim and I'm slow, just to prove to you that that's not like an exaggeration or something like that. I was in the slowest lane. I got lapped twice, not by like, two people. I mean, the three people in my lane lapped me twice. It was, it was, uh, it was a rough, <laughs> rough night. And so we went from swimming to the actual playing and I got to be in this position, the set position, and all I could hear was the criticism um, when I was trying really hard and then the one time when my eyes were closed and I kind of made this general motion towards the cage and apparently the ball went exactly in the corner of the cage 
Um, and that's what I got praised for, the thing I didn't even really see. And so as you can see, when I got home after this long day, and as I always am when I get home after a long Wednesday, I was and I am very tired. And so I would like to apologize for that real quick. I'm sorry that this video is not the most original, the most scripted, the best. To be honest, it is a bit of a summary video, more like the ones I typically do on Sundays, so it is kind of a cheat in that aspect, but it's what I could do because it's a Wednesday, and Wednesdays suck, and I did think it would be good for you guys to understand the whole reality of why Wednesdays suck for me, because essentially what it is, is a 7 to about 9.30 period with one two hour break that I usually use to work and one one hour break that I use to like eat and survive. So, pretty tiring. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that despite its quality you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below or let me know if there's any interesting things that you would like to bring up. Uh, kind of open the floor to some thoughts. And um, that's it. I hope that you guys soar high and enjoy the ride of life. Bye.